This video will take you through setting up locks on your thermostat. These features are only available on the landlord and calendar models of our thermostat. To begin with, select Setup, then Locks. You should now be on the Locks page. Block registration should be set to True in virtually all instances. This will prevent your thermostat from being re-registered. If you sell your property, then you can set this to False to allow the next owner to register the thermostat. Restrict set points allows you to set a minimum and maximum set point. This is great to prevent the heating from being pushed up to 35 degrees all the time. In this example, we're going to set a minimum of 15 and a maximum of 22.5 degrees. We are also going to set a profile threshold of 18 degrees. The profile threshold is only available when using profiles. Any profile segment below this temperature is locked, so in this example, any profile segment set to below 18 degrees cannot be adjusted. Any segments above 18 degrees can be adjusted between 15 and 22.5 degrees. As you can now see on the unit, we can only adjust the temperature between this range. Finally, you can disable various functions on the thermostat. Each function is described in the basic settings video. If you set the function to disabled, then it will be removed from the unit. So in this example, we're going to disable everything except off, P1 and set point. Menu should normally be set to disabled to prevent times and programs being changed locally on the unit. On the thermostat, we can now adjust the temperature and switch the function between off and P1. If we want to make the thermostat follow a profile at all times with no local adjustment, then we can disable the off function and also disable the set point. Now on the thermostat, we cannot make any adjustments at all.